Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a review of the AMX Defender. Now this tank just entered the Blitz stores today and has unfortunately come in crates. Couldn't say I wasn't expecting this because I was and unfortunately it came in crates. So very unfortunate. The other tanks here are in store as well. I'll do quick kind of just uh, tell you if they're worth it or not. But we're going to mainly be focusing on the AMX Defender right now. Um... As you can see here, crates with a 5% drop chance, and you have 25 charms. So at least you have charms for a chance to get it, and you can get gold, a uh, pretty good chance of gold, up to 1,000, 750, 500, pretty good chances. So you're going to be getting some gold for these, even if you don't get the tank. But I would say they are pretty expensive. $10, and you only get three containers. That's kind of a big oof. And if you really want to get any good amount, you got to spend $50. I would just wish Wargaming just charged... 30, 40, maybe 50 bucks for this tank, and so many more people would buy it, and they probably would make the same, if not more, money. So, uh, unfortunately, they did come for crates here in this bundle, the Unstoppable Defenders. You get the other three, and you get five crates, so you can get some gold back. So, if you don't have any of the defenders for 20k gold, it's worth it, man. Both of these tanks, uh, well, all of these tanks in here would be under, well under 10,000 gold, in, uh, and then you get 5,000 I mean, then you get five crates and stuff like that. So that's definitely worth it. Um, these, it's up to you if you want to get these single. These are probably worth it, this one. Um, this, I'm having a t hard time deciding if I want to buy this or not. Um, I, it's a little more expensive than I think it could be. I think this could be 8500 But if you got the gold, honestly, it's probably worth it. It's a little more expensive than I was hoping it would be. But um, if you got the gold, it's probably not a bad deal. So these are worth it. Uh, in general, they're pretty good deals for the defenders. Defenders are fun tanks and enjoyable to play. So now we got the defenders out of the way. We'll just take one more quick look here at the crates. And then we're going to be jumping over to uh, Blitz Stars where we ha I have all the defenders, the AMX and the AMX defender all lined up for a t quick tank uh, compare for kind of like the review part. But the containers, like I said, 5% drop chance. Just, you get some credits and stuff. The only other really good thing in here is that you have the chance for gold. So, crates overpriced, I would have to say. These are overpriced. These are very expensive crates. I mean, it takes $10 to get three. Like, that's a lot. Ten should be getting you five, at least, in my opinion. That's a lot of money for some crates. Um, I mean, it's a lot of money. So, I would not recommend getting the tank. So, I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting the tank currently right now because of the price. I mean, crates, they're never worth it. So, concerning the tank, though, let's go ahead and jump straight into the review. Alright, so here we are in Blitz Hangar, and we have the AMX Defender here marked up with the AMX 1390, the Defender Mark 1, IS-3 Defender, and the T-28 Defender. We're going to be doing a quick uh, compare. This is just kind of the review, but before we get into the review, just like I said, the tank isn't worth it. There's a few things they did on this tank that just, even if it came out for money, it probably wouldn't be worth it. But especially in crates, do not get the tank. It's not worth it. There are plenty of better tier 8s out there, like the Chimera, the Progetto. They're, you're going to be having a lot more fun in it. Or the Defender Mark 1. Honestly, if you want a Defender, go for the Defender Mark 1. It's 10k gold, much cheaper, and it's probably going to be way more worth it. So, looking at the stats here, it does have better DPM than three of the defenders, all except the T28 defender, which is good. It has uh, okay penetration. Uh, well, actually, it's got pretty bad penetration, to be honest. The uh, uh, It's got much better penetration than the 1390. Uh, I don't know why that's so low. I think that's better penetration. Maybe it's not. Maybe the 1390 really does have that bad. Well, but it's pretty bad penetration. And then your alpha is 160 compared to 225 on the AMX 1390, which is pretty unfortunate. And then you have a 13 second reload and of course four shells. So breaking down the gun here, they did too low alpha in my opinion. 160, it should have been 180 in my opinion or, or 190. Um, I know they wanted it lower because they had four shells compared to three on the 1390. But they have four shells of uh, 190 in the... Uh, Mark 1 Defender, so why is it not 190 in the uh, 1390? You know, it doesn't really make sense to me. So I guess uh, it's a little low alpha for me. I think it should have been higher, in my opinion, just to give it some more uh, hit whenever you're shooting and stuff, because tier 8's with 160 alpha, oof, no, please no. I think that's the lowest alpha at tier 6 in the, I mean, tier 8 in the entire game. So 
Alpha's low, uh, that's really, in my opinion, kind of killed the tank when I saw that. I was like, bruh, why? Um, weapon handling here, aim time, it's uh, okay, same as the 1390, and a little bit uh, a little bit worse than the Mark I Defender, but is better than the um, IS Defender in the T28. Uh, same for the dispersion, and then you only have 6 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty bad. Um, you're going to be struggling with that, but it's a French tank. That's what most of them are. And then, of course, though, you are the fastest tank um, out of all of these, even a little bit one, one kilometer an hour faster than the 1390. So you got good mobility, um, and then you have a clip gun, of course. So, I mean, that's pretty much all to the tank. There's uh, not much too much uh, to go over. It's just, in general, kind of... In between, I'd say what Wargaming could have done to make this tank a lot more worth it, buff the alpha up to 190, uh, give it a little more penetration maybe, and then maybe, mm, I mean, I feel like that's it, but there's just something on this tank that feels missing to me. It's got a nice intra clip reload though, uh, 1.67 seconds, so you can get your shells out fast. But yeah, overall, I would say the tank isn't worth it. Um, it will come for gold eventually, just like all the other defenders. And then it will probably be worth it, and you can get it. Maybe mess around, have some fun in it. With But I would still say the, the Defender Mark I is going to be a better option for you guys. So if you want to go get the Defender Mark I over this, I definitely would do that. I'm probably going to go get the Defender Mark I um, after this video. So yeah, that's pretty much my review of the AMX 1390 Defender. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.